Mississippi River, located at the center of North America and stretching more than 2,300 miles from the icy lakes of Minnesota to the warm, storm-lashed Gulf of Mexico. Flood-weary farmers in the Mississippi Delta say they feel like they've been forgotten. Many say they won't be able to farm their land this year, and they want to send a message to lawmakers and the president. Finish the pumps. cutting through 10 states, feeding vast wetlands, and shaping one of the largest deltas on Earth. The river fuels cities, farms, ports, and ecosystems that millions depend on. Its delta, an intricate maze of bayous, marshes, and sinking land, has always lived in a fragile balance between creation and collapse. But now, that balance is breaking. In a stunning discovery, geologists have uncovered deep, expanding fractures beneath the Mississippi Delta. Hidden cracks slicing through ancient soils once thought stable. Land is sinking faster, marshes are tearing apart, and the very foundation of America's greatest river system is showing signs of failure. What force is ripping open the ground beneath one of the most vital regions in the United States? And more urgently, is the Mississippi River entering a new era of unstoppable change? Chapter 1. Mississippi River Cracks The story begins in silence, interrupted only by the low, persistent hum of ground-penetrating radar and the careful work of geologists. For years, the Mississippi River Delta's surface showed few signs of trouble, a green labyrinth crisscrossed by water seemingly unchanging. But as researchers probed beneath, a new picture emerged. On brisk mornings thick with mist, research boats glide quietly along muddy currents. Scientists lower instruments deep into the sediment, extracting long, dark cores, a cross-section through time. Deploying seismic sensors along stretches of the riverbed, they analyze electromagnetic signatures. On screens, irregular shapes unfold. Fractures, sometimes hundreds of meters deep, weaving beneath silt and mud. In places once thought unmoving, the earth was parting. Recent surveys by American and international geology teams confirmed what had only been suspected. Long, deep fissures now extend beneath the bed of the Mississippi River and through some of the delta's most fragile wetlands. These are not just superficial cracks but wide divisions through ancient soils, evidence of potent, invisible forces. Why here? Why now? The answers are only partially known. A mixture of natural land sinking, subsidence, centuries of shifting waters, and the erosive power of the river. For millennia, seasonal floods deposited sediment that replenished the wetlands, offsetting the slow, natural sinking of the land. But now, something appears to be accelerating the process. Across the delta, swathes of land are dropping, opening voids beneath homes, roads, and marshlands where children once played and herons once hunted at dawn. Experts debate the details. Some blame the thunderous rush of floodwaters during powerful storm seasons. Others point to historic engineering projects, levees, oil and gas extraction, and long-term draining of aquifers from deep underground. Scientists note that in the lab, delta soils sometimes come apart under minimal pressure, hinting at layers weakened by factors such as saltwater intrusion and drought. These fractures signal not only instability, but loss. In a landscape where every inch of marsh means both ecological and human security, each new crack marks a tipping point. Is the delta revealing its deepest vulnerabilities, or is this the start of a much larger unraveling, one that could soon carry consequences far upstream? Chapter 2. Mississippi River Loss The Mississippi Delta has always been a landscape in flux, a mosaic of land giving way to water and water to land. But increasingly, it is a story of disappearance. For years, environmental warnings have multiplied, 
marshes shrinking, islands vanishing, and homes lost to the tides. With less than 10% of the river's sediment reaching the critical bird's foot delta most of the year, the region's delicate balance is buckling. The bird's foot delta, that iconic fork extending into the gulf, is in peril. Over decades, land has receded many miles, and recent satellite images show open water where marsh thrived. Scientific projections are sobering. The majority of this area could disappear entirely without drastic intervention. Geologists now walk among lands that once seemed firm and find them hollow, slick, and prone to collapse. Fissures split the ground, swallowing trees and topsoil in days. The land's disappearance is matched by that of the ancient reeds, Phragmites, tall and resilient, which once held the delta together. Their tough roots grip the muddy banks, helping stabilize these fragile islands against tides and wind. The dwindling stands of these plants mark another crisis. As cracks open deep in the soil, these root systems falter, unable to bridge the deepening gaps. The result? Broader breaches for water to flood through, and a landscape whose ties are coming undone. What does this mean for the Delta's living inhabitants? For waterfowl, alligators, and remnants of old hardwood forests, the loss of land is immediate. The shrinking of habitat, flooding of nests, and a slow fade of biodiversity. Birds from snowy egrets to migratory ducks find open water where nesting grounds once existed. Will migratory flocks find refuge or emptiness on their ancient roots? The question grows heavier each year. And for the people? For communities whose families have farmed, fished, and thrived here for generations, the water creeps closer yearly. Houses are raised, roads repaved, and levees reinforced. But beneath all of it, the cracks spread. Mostly unstoppable, mostly invisible. Children wonder why their classmates move north, leaving behind the only home they've known. Elders speak less of the future and more of lost times, of land and faith alike vanishing into memory. Chapter 3 Mississippi River Alert On March 20th, 2025, scientists revealed results from a new geological survey. Massive, previously undetected cracks running beneath the Mississippi River itself. These were not trivial surface disruptions or shifting mudflats, but extensive fractures deep beneath the delta, directly threatening its stability. Why does the scientific community treat these cracks with such concern? Because they point to a new level of risk. The possibility that ground once thought reliable could give way rapidly and unpredictably. Seismic experts have deployed networks of sensors, mapping stress points with renewed urgency. The pattern is stark. Fractures radiate beneath the riverbed, reaching areas critical for wildlife and for the human-made infrastructure that so much depends upon. What causes such fractures to appear now? Many scientists suspect a convergence of factors. Historic loss of sediment through river engineering and levying, the load of floodwaters due to more extreme weather, and rising sea levels placing new stresses on land already naturally subsiding. These elements combine to leave the delta not just eroding, but fragmenting in ways never before seen. What does this mean for the future? Occasionally, tremors shake quiet delta nights, opening new cracks. Sometimes, sections of saturated soil shift abruptly, damaging roads and pipelines that once seemed secure. There are fears that, if unchecked, such rapid change could redraw the map of the American South, not over centuries, but within generation. Chapter 4 Mississippi River Warning Every ecosystem gives its warning signs, silent clues woven into tree rings or written into the soil. In the delta, scientists track the decline of reeds, the shrinking freshwater marsh, and the drop of once abundant species like crab and crawfish. The Phragmites reeds, once green oceans across the delta, now recede as cracks widen. Their failure to re-establish in sundered ground reveals an ecosystem struggling to keep itself tied together. The complexity of root networks that once anchored entire islands now fails to span the subsiding land. Wildlife echoes these changes. 
Waterfowl shift their patterns, finding fewer places to rest or feed. Alligators journey upriver, away from unstable ponds. Fishers speak of empty nets and shifting tidal flows, tangible signs that the food web is unravelling incrementally. In backwaters, naturalists watch pelican nesting sites contract, while frog song fades as marshes turn brackish and lifeless. Botanists map the red lines of salt intrusion, each patch of dying foliage marking a new boundary for ecological retreat. For science, every vanished reed or receding marsh is a record, a data point chronicling the delta's transformation. No longer tragedy alone, the loss becomes a guide for modelling what the future may hold, and a warning light for systems on the brink. Chapter 5 – Mississippi River Hardship The Mississippi Delta is not just marshland, it is the economic pulse for millions. Barges channel the nation's grain exports, fishing and farming sustain families generation after generation. But as fractures deepen beneath, those who work and live here encounter new and growing challenges. Each lost acre takes its toll. Farmers see productive land slip beneath the waves. Fishers watch as saltwater intrudes, undoing a balance between fresh marsh species and invasive newcomers. Towns built on firm ground now grapple with buckling roads and shifting foundations. Some localities confront hard choices over which facilities and neighbourhoods to defend or retreat from. To hold on, the region responds with adaptation and urgency. Levees are reinforced, pumps installed, and pilings driven deeper. New approaches, sediment diversions, living shoreline projects, and the restoration of oyster reefs are tested. But the pace of land loss and the spread of subsurface cracks often outstrip human effort. Economically, consequences ripple through the region. Property values waver and insurance challenges mount. Businesses open and close in the shadow of declining habitable land or after new damage following storms. Festivals shorten, the local calendar reordered by flood and tide. While the population turns over as some families move away seeking firmer ground. This is not merely an environmental challenge, it is an existential one. Can enduring communities be sustained when the earth beneath fails to cooperate? Does the fierce tradition of holding on still match the pace of the landscape's change? Chapter 6 – Mississippi River Science The Delta's story is one of constant study, a race against time as scientists join forces across disciplines. Their tools ground-penetrating radar, seismic mapping, satellite imaging, paint a clearer, if alarming, picture. With less than 10% of the river's sediment now reaching the Birdsfoot Delta most years, and land breaking beneath, experts warn that the patterns of rivers and coasts could soon be unrecognisable. The risk is no longer abstract. Without dramatic intervention, the loss of the Mississippi Delta could eliminate a buffer critical for shielding inland farms and cities from Gulf storms. Emergency planning is underway in council halls from Baton Rouge to New Orleans. Policymakers and conservationists debate levies, diversions and the ethics of high-dollar restoration. As new breaks in the land appear every year, so too does the urgency. For the scientific community, this is a red alert. The window for effective action narrows with each new survey. The collapse threatening the Delta is not limited to wildlife or industry, but anything and anyone relying on the land itself. Chapter 7 – Mississippi River Lessons Long before surveys and seismic maps, the Mississippi Delta formed by cycles of flood and rebuilding. The land holds remnants of earlier civilizations, pottery, tools and settlements woven through ancient soils. The bayous carry stories of resilience and retreat, echoed in music, folklore, and the ever-shifting boundary between river and sea. Still, there has been no historic parallel to this era. Never before have the steady cracks of subsidence joined with chronic loss of new sediment to produce collapse on this scale. Each newly exposed gap, each vanished forest, underscores the risks facing the American landscape and identity, 
a transformation as profound as any since the river first charted its course. Nature gives unmistakable signals. Species not previously seen in the region move in as others disappear. The skeletons of drowned hardwoods protrude from open water, haunting reminders of a fading domain. Every fresh measurement from the field chronicles the ongoing loss. Is time left to reverse the trend? Can the warnings from data and from memory be heeded to ensure this is not the final chapter, but a turning point? Can innovation and collective resolve outpace the subsiding ground? Chapter 8 Mississippi River Crossroads Throughout history, the Delta has marked a crossroads, a mixing of the continent's greatest river and the hungry gulf. Ancient maps show a land repeatedly rewritten, with towns and forests erased by the river's whims. Today, the stakes are at their zenith. Communities persist, lining levees, filling churches, and teaching children from maps already outdated. But as the cracks below stretch on, heedless of boundary markers or titles, the path grows less certain. Governments and local leaders rush to reinforce or redirect the river and its sediment, to slow the pace of loss. But uncertainty prevails. Each migration of birds, every retracing of the alligator's path, hints at a future built on adaptation. Families with names carved in stone set out for higher land, while others stay and rebuild. Against this backdrop, a resolute spirit endures. Fishers find moments of plenty within the hardship, and young visionaries gather to chart a way forward. There is no surrender in this place, only a willingness to embrace the unknown. What does it mean to hold ground as the ground itself changes? The answer is found in the determination of the people, their will to endure, to adapt, and to shape the next chapter, no matter how daunting. Story a call that echoes for regions worldwide, where land and water meet, and the future is subject to the forces of geology, ecology, and human resolve. Let us know what resonates with you about the Mississippi Delta, whether it's the silent shifts beneath your feet, the determined fight for every inch of marsh, or the pursuit of knowledge in the face of environmental challenge. Share your thoughts below. The path forward is uncertain, but the story continues. Stay with us as we seek out the warnings, the lessons, and the hope within the Great American Delta and beyond. If you care about the fate of these lands, follow our updates as we chronicle the journey of science and resilience in the Mississippi's shadow, with the region's fate hanging once more in the balance.